Hi guys, it's me Andrea. Welcome to another art channel page. This is for the CAC um, Facebook group and it's for Porgust art. But this one will be Clorgust art because I will do this little chicken page. Um, I saw this chicken on Pinterest and that was on a, on a page or on a website drawing for kids. I don't mind, it was easy and right the right thing for me so really easy to draw and I found them so cute I had to use them. Um, drew them down with a pencil and then went over with a black ink marker and I wanted to have this page so happy and colorful with bright colors and that's perfect with dilutions. I love these dilutions and when you want to have a really colorful happy page they're so bright go for this uh, paint and um, you see which paint I use with color, which colors I use. So that's fairly wet still, and I use this stencil to get the paint off again. And um, it's a fairly new stencil when I made this page, it's a while ago. So I want to try it, I was desperate to try the stencil. And basically, a good idea what I um, wanted to do here, or I did was bringing the paint or the color from the bottom to the um, upper half and then the other way around on the on the bottom the red of course it worked but I at the end you will see so I couldn't find the matching areas from the stencil so I went in with a brush um, to get that done and um, as I said basically not bad so I cover here the little chickens with white gesso to um, that I can work on it properly. The dilution paint is pretty slick so that's why a nice coat of gesso helps and it covers much better whatever you put. I think I've done two layers on it and um, I wanted to have them in a pastel tone so I was looking around what can I use I wanted to have something permanent so I went to um, my uh, Dervant in ink, ink tents and I use it here around at the edges and drag the paint into the middle so automatically you get a bit of shading oh, I went over the eyes not that bad I can fix that later and I went oh, which colors was it I can't remember actually but you will see that's uh, it's um, red violet pastel -y. it's normally not a pastel but when you use it very sparingly or a thin layer then of course it will look more pastel -y. and um, yeah so I went on so this is actually as I said before, the hashtag, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, hashtag um, Porgus Art from the CAC group and on Facebook. And this is, um, this time I thought, I'm not doing dogs. I did that last time. I went for this chicken. So it's Clorgus Art, isn't it? So um, when you put in this hashtag, Hashtag Porgust Art, you will see a lot of videos from all the artists taking part. So go after watch you watch my video, finish for my video, go and have a look at all the others. <clears throat> so I use different uh, media here, black inks and the white poster for the eyes. And then I have this Wink of Stella pens, glitter pens. And I went in for the iris and gave them all a different... Um, glittery look. You can't see it from here of course in the close-up you will see a bit of that. It's a fine glitter but it yeah it adds a bit of a sparkle to it. And I always have to go again back with the ink black ink pencil to um, define the lines again and then I see something here and there. I have to give them hair back um, because I painted over it. And I think that's it for the chickens. 
um, was it here where I was thinking what to do? Yeah, now I start, you can see, I start to fiddle. I wasn't happy with this pattern and I thought, what can I do with it? I went around with a Sharpie and then I started to doodle, me doodling, you know, that's something. It's not my thing. And um, it didn't work for me. And for one reason, it was far too busy. My focus was on these little chickens. I should have... I shouldn't have used the, the stencil in the first place. Now I start stamping through the stencil and all that stuff. You know, that's what you do when you try to get or make a page work. You try a lot of stuff. But, you know, the good thing is um, you can always change it. There is um, nothing permanent. You can always paint over it. A bit of shading, of course, you know, and I do this, I go on and, and go sh on with the shading and stuff too. And then while I do that, I, I, I think, you know, and um, I'm not stopping, I go on with stuff. And that's always a good thing. Don't stop, go on with the page. And after a while, you will get the idea, you will know what to do. It's a natural flow, come on. It's more shading that I use my... Um, Faber Castell pit pen big brush for that ideal for shading you can blend it with your fingers until they are dry they they will be a bit um, workable until they are dry so it's absolutely fantastic easy to blend and make shading with it so have I finished with thinking now no a bit of white spots in the ears and uh, yeah, then I went on with some highlights with my white Posca. Got their tummies out a bit. Still thinking, what can I do to make this page work? Okay, mm -hmm. doing a bit of etching, good idea. But believe me, it still doesn't work. Not for me though. It's always a personal taste, isn't it? But it didn't work for me. Far too busy. So, and now I had the idea. I draw mama chicken. A big one behind the little ones. And they are easy. You can draw them in any size you want. It's always the same simple lines. So I go in with gesso and... Um, Oh, I forgot the, the wings there. And, of course, I have to go over the hair again. Nothing you can't fix. She will be huge, but she is covering the whole background behind the chickens. So then I go over with the... with the... Micron? Yeah, Micron. I am beauty. It's so hot here. I can't, I can't hardly think. So again, another layer of gesso. And then I will go in with paint. The problem is, of course, this huge area working with Durvans is a bit ambitious. So I used my Neo Colors 2, but I didn't use water to activate it. I just had my fingers a bit damp and then went over it to spread it out and blend it. And that works perfectly with the new colors. Try to stay a bit light in the middle, but of course behind the chickens there need to be a bit of shading. So and then I start with my uh, black Posca. And now first I go in with the white. That's uh, white acrylic paint the eyes. I had a bit of problem afterwards when I drew the black lines the most of my ink pens wouldn't work. It's on of course on um, neo colors it's difficult to work on crayons you know that. This is a Posca, Posca pen I um, made the black eyes And as you can see, I forgot the iris, but I do it now. 
but it's hardly working. I get a really, really hard time. But when you work on crayons and you hardly touch the page, the surface with your ink pens, it will flow automatically out. So no pressure, then it works sort of. Same here with my Wink of Stella pencil. I go over and a little touch ups here and there for the beak, of course. Um, I used the big, big brush pick pen and I had to put the hair back. And I work with my stubby low owl uh, for the hair there because I have to work on crayons. And the owl is working on all surfaces. That's what it says. So, and then still didn't work. and. Of course, still the same background. It is far too busy. So I cover up most of it on the upper side, but we'll leave on the bottom. So and that works. Bit, I take a bit off with my um, cell theory, mini cell theory crafters company. And that's great. And far away from the chicken, so that there is a distance between the chicken and very colorful page, the very busy part, and that works. So after that I was happy. A bit of touching up, of course I had to redo the lines and a bit of shading with my Stabilo Oil, with the black one, and blending out with a blending stump. And of course I had to do the etching again. And now I, that's the saying, um, the saying is actually, um, I, it's a German saying, you know, it's something like when, when kids, mother thinks like that, when a kid is very small, acute, you, we say, we have the saying, oh, you could eat them up. And then when they're getting older, you sometimes wish you would have done that. So, don't know if you get that, but... That's what it basically means. So this is the, uh, the close-up already. And here you can see that the background comes through a tiny bit and it works so much better. So I thank you a lot for watching, guys. So as I said, have a look for the hashtag and for all the other videos. You will see really great stuff. And I hope I will see you with my next video soon. Have a nice time, guys. Thanks again and bye-bye.